New in 2023, Cobra Aerojet drivers designed to give you more speed and more distance. However, you can't really get that without the right shaft. And so today, Kevin Kraft is here, who may or may not play an Aerojet driver, so might be the expert on the topic. Unconfirmed rumors. <laughs> so we'll go through all the stock shaft offerings that uh, are available with the Aerojet drivers and help you make that decision for which one is right for you. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and tell us in the comments how great our outfits are today. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter from Columbia here today in the Twin Cities. And don't we look awesome? Right? We're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, was, I mean, when you wear the navy blue pants, the same Puma shoes, and the same, yeah. 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 There was believe no, it or not, we didn't no, call There was no other. call involved, no believe texts, no anything. No, yeah. they're not, they don't believe that. Yeah. Aerojet drivers today, uh, looking at the stock shafts. And so yes. uh, I hinted at something earlier. You may or may not play Aerojet yes. driver. This, this is my, this is my gamer. It yes. is currently in the bag. Um, we'll talk about the fact that I'm not playing any of the shafts that we're talking, that we're yeah. about to talk about, but yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, and that, this is actually a pretty wide net that Cobra has available for yes. stock shafts here. Yeah. And the idea is to cover every type of golfer, uh, whether you have a, slow, moderate, or fast swing speed, or whether you hit the ball with a low launch or high launch, you know, there's options for you to help you, you know, get better performance. And Correct. so uh, six options here, and I think that shows that, you know, Cobra is invested in making sure their kind of custom options, yes. their fitting options um, are up to par with the rest of the competition. Absolutely. Uh, Cobra's always sort of coming in a little bit under the radar. Mm -hmm. They don't advertise quite the way that right. some of the other manufacturers do. Uh, but they've been quietly making really good products for a mm -hmm. long time. Yeah. And it's nice to see that we've got a bunch of different options here to, to yeah. work with. And, you know, most of the time when we're fitting, we're going to find something that falls in that in that matrix range. Yeah. And then if we don't find something that we really like, I've got copious amount of options to, mm -hmm. to mess with you know, outside of the, right. the, the regular matrix. As you have experience with yes. yourself. Yes. Um, so, and that's what, you know, it's important, right? Uh, you don't get the technology of the Aerojet without the right, you know, shaft or the right engine for the jet. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. You know, talking vehicles, right? Yes. So, um, I mean, this is actually called a jet, yeah, right? Aero right, exactly. Jet. So you have to have an engine to, right. to drive this. Of, of course, of course. And so the idea is we're going to, drive the jet a few times today mm -hmm. um, with each of these stock shafts here in front of us. We'll talk a little bit about the shafts. Um, Kevin will kind of talk about the feel that they provide. Then we'll also see what TrackMan shows us in terms of the numbers and maybe help you with that decision uh, when you make a purchase on your Aerojet driver. So I think that's a good plan. I think it's a great plan. Want to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right, shaft number one. Tell me about it. Okay, UST Helium. Mm -hmm. You imagine that helium would that be kind of hints at like lightweight yes, and yes, it, it wants yeah. to it wants to float away all on its <laughs> own. Um, Fifty gram class, okay. stiff flex. Um, this is going to be the highest launching, yeah, designed shaft right. of the thing, right? So um, we'll see. I have not spent a lot of time with the with the helium. Okay, um, feels pretty good. I like the I like the the weight feel of it. Sure, 50, mid fifty gram weight class here. So okay. See how she do. Ooh. Okay. That felt very much like a save. A save as in you might have missed it and it picked it up? No, as in, holy cow, where is that club head? And oh, oh okay, there it is. Kind yeah. of, let me time it up right. Hopefully yes. you look up yes. and don't really know where it's going. Yes. And then it yeah. looks okay. It It's definitely on the softer spectrum okay. of of flexes for sure even though it's a stiff not all stiffs are created equal Ooh, all right yeah certainly the timing mechanism is going to be a little different yeah it's going from the previous segment that we did yeah. with the lowest launching yeah. stiffest flex into this was kind of like oh. yeah, maybe a couple warm-up swings for you maybe it might not have, might not have been a bad idea just to get that feel down picked up the speed there oh yes okay i'll drop the me likey on you how's that yeah yeah kevin likey yeah i do 
Um, all right, so the shaft that I am playing right now yeah. is called the Brava mm -hmm. by BGT Golf Solutions. It is 56 grams. So it's in the same class. Yeah. Definitely a little different construction. Yeah. Uh, not designed as a, technically as a higher launching shaft. But once I kind of got that first swing out, I was able to have a better feel for how she was going to load. This actually felt really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of some similarities probably just on weight alone yes. probably to yes. the one Absolutely. that you play. Absolutely. Um, numbers wise, we had a launch of 13.5. We had, you know, the carry out 265. Spin under 2,000 with all but one shot. So that'll be something to monitor. Okay. Um, as we kind of get into these. Yeah. Other shafts are definitely kind of designed for maybe lower spin or lower yeah. launch. So yep. we might um, end up going up in, in loft again. We might. We might. Um, all right. Okay. Shaft number two here. All right. Just going down the line. Do this one next. We'll do the uh, uh, hazardous yeah. IM10 next. IM10 came out last year. Yep. Um, it's been a real winner in both Cobra and Callaway's Matrix. Those are the two brands that have carried this. Um, it's mm -hmm. a good one. It's a, it's a really good stable shaft, kind of mid, mid, mid characteristics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that is the first time I've seen 300 yards today. Oh, nice off the toe and I don't think this one's coming back. Nope. Okay. Okay. What, uh, so you look back down at the club, what was, uh, what were you uh, looking for? Forgot to put it on draw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mine's set on draw. So you're, so, you're seeing the right and you're so, like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. I was like, was it really me? Was it really me? Or was it the equipment? Yeah. I'm going to say see. Ah, well, Kevin is a draw setting player. So I am a draw setting player. Yes. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling and that that's one, why I have a feeling that one would be perfect if it was. That's why. Setting. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, bring up all the key and fun numbers here. Okay. I am 10. Yep. USD helium. Um, uh, Really not a ton changed. Uh, no. You, the spin was relatively similar. Obviously, smash factor was the same. Um, you just probably a little bit higher launching and steeper landing angle, really, with the IM-10 in this case. Yeah, and that's weird. Yeah. Right? That's opposite what we'd potentially expect to yeah. see. But this is golf, and there's no hard, yeah. true facts to any of this. And there's, for as many people as there are in the world, there's that many swings. So, Absolutely. Um, that might be different for somebody that comes in and get fit, gets fit uh, based on what we know about the characteristics. Mm -hmm. But in this test, it was higher launching, more a kind of a steeper landing angle with the IM-10. So yeah. uh, we'll see if that trend continues as we go up the line here. Yeah. Um, uh, it was good, though. Like, I'd, I've spent a good bit of time with this one. Yeah. And You didn't expect a... it to be anything less than a good... No, no, absolutely. And I've done so much fitting with it. So yeah. it, it's, it's a, it's definitely one that's a, a good contender in, in any kind of any situation. Mm -hmm. Kylie blue new for 2023 accompaniment to the Kylie white, which was low launch, low spin. This is a little more mid launch. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Okay. Draw. How about that? I'll go on record right now as saying that if I weren't playing the shaft that I am playing and I was in the matrix, this would probably be it. Would it? Okay. From a feel perspective, Very I, love, similar I and... love this shaft. Absolutely okay. love this shaft. That might hang a little. Yep. Just felt like it in the golf swing. Yeah. A little off the top. It works. It works. Not as efficient, but it's out there. Yeah. It's, uh, it smashes down because you can get that up and down for birdie. Game. Sure. That one launched lower. Okay. Nice. That was pretty good. Okay. You got no complaints. Yeah. 
has no complaints. I have no complaints, so it was the lowest, <laughs> lowest total distance of the group. Yeah. So we got, I want to see, did that launch lower? It seemed like it did. Oh, that last one did for sure. It was at like 12. 13.8. 13.8 8 there. Yeah. So yeah, kind of a mid-launch characteristics, as you said, yep. you know, I picked up a little bit more spin um, compared to the other two. Mm -hmm. Also more consistent with that spin with that. Um, anything else jump out of you here? Or? No, nothing crazy. Um, I like the height. Uh, so that part's good. Yeah. Um, Smash Factor has been consistent across the board. Club head speed has been pretty consistent across the board. Um, from a feel perspective, though, this was definitely my favorite of the group yeah. so far. Uh, the, Which makes sense. The helium was, was actually ended up being really good feeling to me, but this one just feels fantastic. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving Three on. Three down. Three to go. Get into the more lower launching stuff technically lower launching going the hazardous here. black here yeah we'll do the hazardous black right. next i'm going to try to keep it on the nine degree setting and see how she goes the white ones the white kylie and the the tensei are both dedicated lower so. mm -hmm. all right we know we like this shaft pretty well yeah we also know that it's available for pretty much everybody yep Ah, a little hang. 148 smash, efficient. Okay, yeah. Hit it in the right spot on the face, just face was open. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a very similar golf shot to the yep. last one. Good news is if you can repeat it, you can play it. <laughs> yeah. It'll be right on top of the other ones, I think. All right, yep. yeah, I'm excited for this. Dispersion. Yeah, right there. Okay. For a guy that doesn't want to see the ball go left, right? It's not like I can be terribly upset with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, so uh, in the grand scheme of uh, where we're at with this golf hole here, uh -huh. yeah, it's uh, three out of four in the fairway, technically. Yeah. Yeah. So and the one that is uh, missing the fairway, you I hit it past the within tree. the trees. Hit it past the tree. You're also past the tree, yes. which helps. So um, all right, numbers here. Okay. We're kind of just hovering around low 2000s for spin now. Yeah. We're kind of staying there. It kind of tends to be where I live normally yeah. just because my impact location tends to be slightly toward and slightly yeah. on the higher side. Which so that is, if you're going to miss the center, quadrant miss there. of life. Yeah, miss there. Up, up to the toe a little bit. Yeah. So highest launch. Okay. Barely. Yep. Highest or I guess steepest landing angle and the highest, highest peak height trajectory. average with that one. So that's I did keep it at nine. So I did keep it at yeah. nine. So that's interesting. Yeah. Um, also the, the spin, how consistent is that spin? I mean, all those shots were very similar, <sighs> that's but great. I mean, look yeah. at these here. Yeah, carry <laughs> carry consistency, total consistency. This is by like, far the most consistent kind of shaft. Of a, in the yeah, it's kind of, a, yeah. kind of a joke actually, yeah. if you. It's a little crazy there. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, so we have a good idea that that shaft probably is a good fit for you. It, uh, it but is. we're gonna get a it little is. bit lower launching and a little bit more stable with the next couple here. Okay. I'm sad though, I haven't been able to produce 160 miles an hour ball speed. But I also haven't been doing speed work lately, so. Could happen. Yep, I'll get after it when I get back home. All right, Kylie White. Been through this one a couple times. Yep. Ooh. Is that accurate? 1600. Is that accurate? So it was caught a little bit on the toward the toward the crown. Okay. So that could, that could, it's that probably could be I know it's italicized, but it's probably not far off. Okay. Usually when you see italics, it's estimating higher. Yeah, okay. Um so I would hope it wouldn't be any lower, but <laughs> right, um, right. yeah. So okay, like the numbers. Yeah, no, that I mean three hundred and two from a from a from a, a greedy perspective. I <laughs> yeah, like, I like seeing the numbers. Ah, there's that right side. Boy, that felt good though. Yeah, one four eight. Ooh, that took off low. Hit the screen I hope lower it stays than it straight. Does. Yeah. I knew that one was going to move a little bit left. Kind of felt it? Yep. Okay, well, um, you had your farthest tee shot so far. 
302. And then uh, we had also this one that was at 300. Yep. We'll round up. Yep. Uh, and then if, I think we also see interesting that as we get away from the, sh the shaft that perhaps fits you the best, we then start to see that oval get wider again. And yep. We're seeing that here. Yep. Little boardy, not bad. I like this shaft. Um, I would probably be more likely to put it in a fairway wood than I am okay. a driver, actually. Um, okay. Because that was almost the lowest spinner of the day, but certainly yeah. the lowest launch and the I mean, uh, it's, lowest it's peak a, height. It's so. a great shaft for a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's got a lot of club head speed. Um, that one's that one's really good. And it's got a lot of feel to it, too. That's the, yeah. that's the other thing. Like, just because it didn't fit me didn't mean it didn't feel good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like the blue is probably a little bit better for, for you overall. Yeah. All right, so Tensai White here? Tensai White. We'll see whether 9 Degrees works or not. And I'll say right off the bat, this one I, this one and I have some... Some negative history. Okay. And I. Some negative we've, history. We've not always gotten along very well. Well, right off the bat, 300 yards. Okay. That one definitely launched lower, I think. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, oh you're trying for 160. Almost got the 160. Did it again. All right, so this negative history with this shaft, are we sure you... Uh... Look, relationships can be mended. Yeah. I, right? I, you go to counseling, you talk things out, <laughs> you have a discussion, you figure out why things aren't working, yeah. and then you can go forward. So from a feel perspective, this definitely feels a little boardier to me. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah. That, that was so that's what I was, that's that's what what I was, was asking about bad. was yeah. this, this negative history. I, I, yeah. was, I'm all, I was going to suggest, hey, maybe it's a gamer. Didn't go that far, though. Uh, but it's when you carried it over 270, all four shots, I think only before that a few times today. Mm -hmm. So total over 300, which before that was just this one time today. Yeah. So let me see if I can scroll. The launch slightly on the low side, but mm -hmm. still a little bit higher for you than actually the Kylie White. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I you'll mean, see the club head speed came up a little bit. Sure. And which that, could... that was a little bit of a conscious effort on my part, knowing that this shaft requires a little more work, maybe a little more work. Right. So, you know, if bring the numbers back up again. Mm -hmm. So in this fitting, if I were if I were fitting me, right, if we look at the numbers, We've got two shafts that really kind of performed the best in carry, and that was the, the hazardous black and the, the Tensei white. Yeah. Okay, so Tensei wins in total distance by four yards, almost five yards. Yeah. Um, it would then come down to the question of how important is that five yards compared to the feel of a shaft? Yeah. Do you want to feel like you have to work harder or do you want to feel like, you know, you can, you can be yourself. Right. And, and so, um, while I absolutely love the, the numbers, if I were fitting me and, and I were asking me these questions, yeah. I'd probably go with the hazardous black today yeah. just because yeah. of the, the I mean, that's fair. That also just this disgusting spin, Right, consistent. Well, yeah. I mean, look, they were all good, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, none of them. None of them was inconsistent. Right. But right, fifty-five right. is is or fifty-one is crazy consistent. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. crazy consistent. Yep. Also so. gives you a little bit more launch too, yep. right? That's how that kind of carry got up yep. there. Yep. More launch, more height. I know you're always kind of looking for that too. You generally yeah. err on that side. Now I might potentially in this case, if we did go with that hazardous black, I might try taking it down a degree in loft. Mm. And see whether I could get a little more ball speed. So get it around 100 drop feet. Drop the spin yeah. just a tiny bit and bring it down to around 100, and see how that would then play out against the Tensei White. Right. Do you want to do that just to see? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I mean, I got the swings left. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that was your judgment call on the swings. So I would have none left if I was doing this. So, so let's do taking it down one, correct? Yes. Okay, Minus one D. All right, so as yeah. if it's, yeah, as if it's a fitting. As know? if it's a fitting, yeah. 
So we're happy with the numbers. We're good, right? Everything looks awesome, but we're greedy, yeah. right? As we should be. This is a greedy game. Yeah. We the, break 90, we want to break 80. We break 80, we want to break 70. We make a birdie, we want to make another birdie. Yeah. You know? So let's let's see what a little bit of greed pay, you know, does for us, whether it pans out or not. Yeah. If not, we've already got winning numbers. Yeah. Right? right. So that was a little low off the face, and that's going to be spinny. Yep. Okay. That's why we're doing more than one swing. Yes, that is correct. All right. Okay. So we're back to the over 270 carry there. Yep. Don't want to sacrifice the carry. All yeah. I'm looking for is can I get a little bit more overall out of it? Yeah, right. Because I know you're trying to get about 100 feet on the air this Yep. Time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. All right. Here's our numbers. Okay. So the top, we've got two, it's kind of confusing. Both the hazardous blacks are kind of this reddish tint. Gotcha. Um, yeah. yeah. But this top yeah. one is the minus yeah. one. So, yeah. um, we saw so club, well, the spin actually, rate only dropped 30 RPM. Well, actually I was going to take out this other yeah, one. Yes. So let's take out started. that first one. Yeah. So really it didn't, it did drop a little bit more than that, but okay. Um, okay. So, so that's a little bit more indicative. It really, yeah, it really did what it was supposed to do. So the returns aren't particularly great. We sacrificed then uh, five yards of carry to get almost two yards of total distance. In my estimation, that's not okay. worth it, right? For yeah. a combination uh, condition player, I want that carry to be up there, right? Yeah. Two yards of total distance is not worth sacrificing five yards of yeah. carry. I mean, you're, are you generally... When you think of distance mm -hmm. and how far a player hits it, are you paying more attention to carry than the total? Just because course it, to with course driver, it's going to be with more. With driver, it really has to be both. Okay. Uh, it really has to be both. Irons maybe is a different story. Irons, I really don't look at total at all. Yeah. Uh, we play to a number. We want to be able to hit to that number and right. make the ball stop as best as possible. Same kind of thing with fairway woods. Right. Um, okay. You know, depending on how, how that fairway wood's being used. But yeah, um, yeah it, we tried it. It was, I swung a mile an hour faster. Ball speed wasn't quite indicative as, as worthwhile because. You're more efficient factor, with the. Yeah, it was the, more efficient with the. With the, the original loft. Little, the, you know, a little more loft. A little more loft makes the golf club a little more forgiving. There. So, so in this case, if it was a fitting, you'd yeah. give yourself the hazardous black. Yeah, we'd go with the, standard, with the okay. hazardous black standard uh, loft right. draw setting with All right. the shaft. Well. That's a nice about Cobras. There's so many options. There are and lots so, of options. There are lots of options for golfers to try. Yep. They can, you know, Aerojet drivers. We already know you have the kind of endorsement on those in terms yep. of stamp of approval. Yep. Kevin Kraft is playing it. Um, but now you need to get the right shaft in that driver. So yes. come to Second Swing and get fit with someone like Kevin. We'll dial you in like this, give you all the information, all the data, and then uh, you'll luck out the door knowing that your driver game is going to improve. So nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's, so, that is what we strive for. Thank you for hitting the shots today in the demonstration, Certainly. Kevin. Yeah.